Greetings, this is Leah Simon, the Naturally You Coach, and today I wanted to talk to you quickly about dry scalp. Now, as a young black girl growing up, I experienced dry scalp for about six years when I was a teenager, um, and probably a little bit into my early 20s as well. And I was truly convinced that the <laughs> remedy for dry scalp, so dry scalp is literally when you... Um, when you part your hair and you look at your scalp, it's almost always covered with um, dry flakes. Um, and this is not just because you um, have dandruff, maybe you haven't washed your hair, like you could have literally washed your hair yesterday, you could have washed your hair three hours ago, and when you check your scalp and it's dry, it's flaky. I was convinced, <laughs> and I was probably advised, ill-advised by some of my friends and family as well, that I just needed to put more oil on my hair. And one of my sisters who actually um, creates her own natural hair care products said that we can be very heavy-handed when it comes to the oil. And I remember I would just slick on some kind of pomade or some kind of oil, to thinking that that was the main problem. And also, because I was thinking it's called dry scalp, so if I put oil on it, that must counterbalance, <laughs> counteract the dryness of my scalp and solve it, and it never did. And that's because your hair having dryness and having dry scalp isn't because you don't have enough oil in your hair. That's not the reason. One of the things that I don't think many of us recognize is that your scalp actually naturally produces an oil called sebum. And if you are well hydrated enough and you're taking in enough essential fatty acids, your body produces enough sebum to keep your scalp from becoming dry and producing those flakes. But three of the things that you can um, look at if you do experience dry scalp is one, it could be due to dehydration. Whenever you are dehydrated, it's going to be difficult for your body to produce that sebum to keep your scalp healthy and it can create um, and contribute to you having a dry scalp. So make sure you're definitely getting in those two liters of water a day minimum or even if you can get up to a liter and a half that's still a really good place to start and then work your way up to two liters and we're coming into summer now so you definitely want to try and aim to get to one and a half liters now and then hit two liters when we do get into the warmer summer months the other thing that could be contributing to dry scalp is that you could have an overgrowth of a bacteria called candidia albicans and i'm going to be doing another video on this and this is something that a lot of us are probably also familiar with is the overgrowth of a bacteria in our digestive system that can per per permeate our whole body and have effects throughout our whole body. Candida albicans overgrowth can contribute to thrush, as well as cystitis, vaginitis. Um, the it can cause fuzzy thinking. It can it can contribute to so many different things throughout our body, um, but it can also contribute to you having a dry, flaky scalp. So you want to make sure that you are getting in enough probiotics, whether that's fermented food that you make yourself or a good supplement. The one that I recommend is either Simprove. Um, which is the one that you keep in the fridge or BioCult, which is a little bit easier to take. It's a capsule, it's a live um, culture um, capsule that you can keep in the cupboard and it stays quite active even though it's, in, it's capsulated. Um, you want to make sure you're also getting in enough fiber, all of those, and keeping your immune system prepped as well. All of those things, three things are going to help you with the potential candida overgrowth that could be contributing to the dry scalp that you're experiencing. But one of the biggest things that causes dry scalp is simply what we put on our hair. It's what we wash our hair with. And a lot of the commercial shampoos that we're using, especially the ones that are fragranced or the, the kind of lower quality, lower cost ones, um, tend to have a lot of chemicals in them. And a lot of those chemicals... They may leave your hair smelling like roses, but they also leave a chemical residue on your hair and on your scalp. And remember, our scalp is really absorbent. So all the chemicals that we find in our skincare products, in our cosmetic products and in our shampoos and conditioners, our body is actually absorbing those and they're going into our body, into our bloodstream, through our scalp. But they also sit on our scalp and they can become very irrit irritating to our scalp causing us to itch our scalp, causing us to have that dry scalp as our body is literally trying to throw this thing off. So this is one of the many reasons I would always recommend that for general health, not just for your hair's health, but for your, the health of your body, you switch to chemical-free cosmetics, um, shampoos, and general skincare products. And again, one of the ones that I really um, love and recommend is Dr. Bronner's, as well as so many of the other natural skin and hair care companies that are popping up, creating handmade, high-quality soaps and shampoos and conditioners and all these kind of things.
so and you can find links to where you can get some of those products in my store the naturally you coach.com forward slash shop and you get 10% off your first order and free shipping so if you do have dry scalp like I did please don't just go and grab the tub of Dax I used to use the green Dax I saw someone put up a meme the other day and it was like if you're a child of the 80s which one of these hair creams did you use I used Dax I used Dax like it was going out of fashion I started on the green Dax then someone hipped me to the black Dax and because it smelled so um, chemical, <laughs> it smelled so strong, I'm like, wow, this thing must really be working on my hair. But then someone also introduced me to Ultra Sheen. So I used Ultra Sheen for a little while as well. Those are the ones I used to use. But if you do have dry scalp, please don't just pile a load of stuff on your scalp because that's not gonna help. It could also make things worse. Switch to a natural shampoo, make sure you're well hydrated and just consider that it could be that Candelial Alpacans overgrowth. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like and share, comment below, subscribe to my channel, follow the page so you can keep up to date when I put up new videos. You can also find me on my website, thenaturallyyoucoach.com. I look forward to speaking to you and seeing you soon. Take care and stay healthy.